Hi, thanks for taking my question. Um, here's what I'd like to know. Uh, is there any possibility that uh, the static kill process itself could increase the pressure and threaten the integrity of the well? Uh, what I'm thinking is, you know, maybe you have oil pushing up and then mud pushing back down. Can that process threaten the integrity of the well bore? That's a great question, and that's exactly what the science team was discussing over the last few days with the BP engineers. <clears throat> what they're going to do is put the mud in at a very slow rate, and I think it's going to be uh, like several barrels per minute. And I think during, the, and I don't have the, the uh, numbers in front of me right now, but I think at, at the maximum point, I think we were approaching 80 barrels per minute and putting mud down during the, uh, the top kill. We were trying to overcome the uh, pressure of the oil coming up. Uh, we've taken a look at uh, putting the mud in very slowly, so if, there, if there's a rise in pressure, we would expect there's some, uh, that we can monitor that very, very closely. And we've established uh, 8,000 PSI as the upper limit for pressure inside the capping stack as we put the mud into it, so we'll be monitoring that. Uh, but that's what they've established as a limit, just to make sure that uh, we, uh, based on uh, the, what they know about the, the, uh, the blowout preventer and everything else, we don't, we don't want to inadvertently do damage, so that's the reason they put a cap on it. And I think we all agreed that we're going to be moving forward uh, but given the time that's been inserted and, and some of the meetings we had with the science teams and making sure that we had looked at uh, all the procedures associated with it, including the injectivity test, we thought it would be a good idea if I went ahead and issued a letter, so that will happen later this evening.